Wake speed. Transfer a configuration file. Connecting to regulator. Configuration transfer. We'll now demonstrate how to transfer a configuration file into a wake speed regulator. There are two options of how to do this. You can share this configuration with yourself by transferring it to a Windows computer and using the Windows tool that we have on the website to physically transfer it to a wake speed regulator. Or if you have an Android app, you can use an on-the-go cable, often called an OTG cable, along with a USB cable to transfer the configuration directly into a wake speed device. And that's what we're going to showcase here today. Begin by using a standard number two Phillips screwdriver to remove the lid of the WS500. Note that these screws do not need to be removed completely as they are captive in the lid itself. Inside, you will find a USB port. The majority of our regulators use a type B USB, while some earlier models use a micro USB port. Use the cable that fits your particular device. With the lid removed, go ahead and connect the Android end to the OTG cable into the Android device itself. Plug one end of the USB cable into the OTG cable, while the other end will connect into this USB port inside the wake speed device. When connecting your devices, you'll often be asked to allow permission on the tablet itself. Select Yes to proceed. Since the USB cable actually provides power to the regulator, you can do this transfer anywhere. A pro hint, because we are not currently connected to a battery, after about 30 seconds, the wake speed regulator will issue a fault that says it can't sense the battery and we'll see that indicated by the light changing from green to red. If that occurs, simply do a quick press on the reset button and the regulator will restart. Let's now begin the process of sending your configuration file to the wake speed device. Press the reset button on the device itself to restart that 30 second timer. Watch for a green light on the device and for the connection icon to appear in the top right of the app. Once these appear, select the stack menu and you'll see new menu options are now available and no longer grayed out. Select configure device. The transfer of your custom made configuration will now begin. During the transfer, the device's indicator light will go to a solid green. This indicates the regulator is in configuration mode. Once the configuration is transferred, you'll get a notification that reads transfer completed. To verify the transfer was successful, select the stack menu again and select confirm device. This will read the configuration back out of the regulator and compare it to your local configuration to ensure they match.